Uh, this is meningioma. Yeah, so meningioma has lots of different patterns. Most of them have no different significance in prognosis. There's only some that changes significance. But like this type, you can see this one, or sonomata, or microcystic. They're all coming from the men meninges as a tumor. Mm -hmm. so, you can see a lot of blood vessels. So the significance of the pattern is there's none really. But you'll see it's a, it's a real tumor. Nuclei are bluish. These are hyperchromatic. There's, there's some mutations associated with it. There's some diseases associated with it, like neurofibromatosis. It and looks like an ordinary cell, look, or okay, inflammatory. Yeah, oh, really? No, not inflammatory, but. Well, no, these are. It looks like a smooth muscle. No. No. Oh, no. Smooth muscle is more spindle shaped. So yeah. This one is still oblong, but it's whirled a little bit. Oh, and so it arises from the arachnoid of the meninges. So. From the arachnoid of the meninges? Yeah. Meningothelial cells, the arachnoid. So here you can see nice whirl here. Another world here. So that's so mostly world. So, uh, that's, so that's how you know it's a uh, meningioma. There's a world shape. No, just this pattern of meningioma. There are other patterns, but this one it's syncytial pattern or meningothelial, and there's lots of worlds you can see. So from all the specimens, nothing else. It looks like this. So. What other patterns can you see though? At world, what else? Somometers, microcystic, there's yeah. a lot. There's it's in the notes, but for that dog, it's in the notes. Yeah. Or yeah. or syncytial. Yeah. And yeah. maybe you can ask what pattern it is, but is it just no organ? So what are the prognosis for meningioma? <coughs> Most are benign. Benign? Depends on the location. Do they, what? Do they progress to malignancy? Very rarely. Most because are... Yeah, it depends and, on the location. And why is that though? Because you don't compress the brain. Remember the cranium, the bone won't expand. So the only thing that will be compressed is the brain. So the ninja will grow when it grows. Yeah. It will compress the brain. That's why all they do is excise it. And so the CSF can no longer. They will accumulate. Most are WHO grade one, so they're localized. Most are benign. Mm -hmm. Can be cured with resection. And like, if you see if it's invading into the brain, what happens? What would you say to that? It will compress in the brain. If it invades the brain, what would you do with the WHO grading? Oh, grade four. No. No. If there's brain invasion. There's no change in WHO grade. Why? It's, it's invading. Yeah. Even if it's invading. Yeah. No, grading is always almost grade one. But it's, invade, it's there's invading, there's invasion. Yeah, it can invade the brain or bone, but it won't change. Because you can resect it, you can resect it, and they're cured. But if you don't resect all of it, and there's some, some still in the brain, it'll regrow. And then you just have to go in again. So, <coughs> still overall benign, that's why it's WHO grade 1. So this is a good prognosis. The bad prognosis is the astrocytoma. Yeah, if you have glioblastoma, that's uh, grade, grade 4. four. Okay. But this one, it depends on the location. If it's in a really bad place, then like in the, say it's in your brain stem, medulla, it'll stop you from breathing and stop your mm -hmm. heart. So that's a bad place. But if it's just in an area, you just start being forgetful, that's not as bad. You remove it and then you're back to normal. Mm -hmm. so. Can you remove if it grows in the brain stem area? Because that's a very hard to reach. Yeah, some, there's other techniques they're making. So sometimes they can do it now. Well, thank you, though.